hello everyone so welcome to my new video and in this video we're going to talk about how can i create a custom component for our custom block sometimes we may need to create a custom component suppose you want to create a icon picker by default the gutenberg doesn't have any icon picker component so in this case you can actually create a custom component for your icon picker Today I will just discuss about a simple component and in the next video I will try to cover an advanced component. By default the Gutenberg has a lot of components but sometimes you may need to create uh, some custom components. So these tips and tricks will be helpful for you to create your own custom component for your own box. So, I can start it now so I am in my editor I want to create a simple folder inside the source folder and that will be our components components and I will keep all the custom components inside this component folder so I want to create our first component and it will be simple a component like the info component so I'm taking a I'm creating a uh, info folder and see so this info folder I want to create a file like info dot says or you can say any name like uh, information that today or something like this and we'll create a functional component and I think you know already about know about the React JS and if you don't know about React JS you should uh, first study on the React JS and you can then you can start with this tutorial. So you must need to have a basic understanding on React JS. So I will create an arrow functions like info and this will return a basic information like uh, I saw I saw on text, nothing else. Since we will use this component uh, in our uh, blog, so we have to export this component. I mean, we're going to export the function or a component. That's it. Now I want to use this component in main edit.js. So we have to first import, like import components import info uh, suppose i want to use this component at uh, top of this button so simply go here and call the component that's it i need to save and i do npm start yeah if you check out the editor and I will see this is our component or text or result. Suppose we want to pass some props from here, like we'll be able to pass uh, the uh, title or the text. So, like title, we'll be able to pass the title, like uh, it can be a simple string, like. Our repeat table, our repeat table text or title. Sorry, this one. That's mean we will be able to take this title as a props and set help. So we're going to district and instead of using this title, I will use this props. That's it. And if I go back here and refresh, I will see, yes, it is working fine. Let us try to make it the S3 tag so that it look better, like this one. Yes, now it is looking better. So again, uh, if you want to use this at the bottom, you can simply call the component. Or you can also create a new panel body. And inside this final body, I can call this component with a different title. 
like it is a custom component yeah and if we refresh i will see the result yes we're getting a different result so this is the beauty of using this component system uh, we can also create or you can also add some more other information like we can add a simple i mean this simple uh, icon so we can use a dash icon so like a dash icon and we have to import this text icon so i need to remove import dash icon from this component but it grabs a normal set here now we have an icons and the schedule and if we refresh i see this is a wordpress icons and this is our title similarly this is a wordpress uh, icons and this is our title if you want to give an options to change the icon we can easily do this just we need to pass a props new prop like icon and we will pass this icon here and user will be able to pick the icon like icon for this icon is admin generic and for this component we will pass wordpress now if we refresh we see this is wordpress but it is a different icon it is really useful we can easily create a custom component and we can uh, provide the options uh, to choose the content inside this component by using the props Similarly, if you want to uh, style this, you can simply do it. Like we want to style this component. So, if you want to style this component, you have to create a style sheet. Like I want to create info node source file, and I need to style this component from here. So first, we want to call this info like this info and we can do this for flex and item so one and so center and inside this we will get a span dash icon and the margin right it is five pixels nothing else we have to import the storage sheet here like this one now if we may make here an update we we'll see the result yes this is our result and if i inspect i will see the story select and you can see this is the result and if i selected this dash icon you can see this is our margin right with five pixel suppose you want to add some more story here oh, like uh what it makes the margin is 16 feature one zero and to change the color like it will be like orange or a bit blue and if we refresh to see the result i can see this is our result and I think you have understood how to create a basic custom component for your custom block. And in the next video, I will discuss about some advanced topics about the custom component. So, if you have any questions, you can let me know. I will try my best to explain the uh, uh, explain the answer of your questions. Thank you.